Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, let's discuss about ChatGPT again. But this is a plus version, which is a premium service from ChatGPT. And if you have not been living under a rock, you know about this awesome new tool, a conversational AI tool from OpenAI, which has shook internet. Bing is back in the game thanks to ChatGPT's native integration into Bing and Edge. But ChatGPT in itself, the software which is available, is a unique one because it also offers a paid model. I'm gonna get into a little bit about ChatGPT, ChatGPT Plus, why this offering makes a lot more sense for power users and how do you upgrade it if you are watching this video today. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. All right, so first things first, let's talk a little bit about ChatGPT Plus. Now, this is a premium version of ChatGPT that comes with two models currently. This turbo model is optimized for speed and it's an alpha preview and this is like quite small and unstable right now because a lot of times when I've texted and sent messages using this model, all I have got back is that we are running at a capacity, please try this again later. But the other model, which is the default one, is the standard plus ChatGPT model. The thing is, when you buy a subscription for ChatGPT, it's a $20 per month subscription available only in United States right now. So when you buy that, all you get is reliability. Now, ChatGPT is one of the most popular tools currently on internet for copywriting, to code writing, to just generally talking about universe things, to a friend, anything can go with this model. When you buy a subscription, there is no such difference in the quality or there is no such difference in what the software has to offer. It's the same thing as a free software. The only difference is you are interacting with a different endpoint or a different set of compute power. That means that this model is more reliable. That means it will not drop off your conversation in between. This model is stable. That means it will not show you those messages, those error messages that, you know, something went wrong with your network or something just crashed and you have to refresh or retry again. In my experience in the default model, I've done this, I've used this for quite some days now. And this model is actually good. This is stable because this does not report all these errors. So you can ask ChatGPT as simple questions as how to write hello world in HTML and it will give you an answer. To ask complex questions as like how do you debug memory leaks in a production level app with Node.js using flame graphs. It knows things, right? It might sometimes hallucinate things and you know just make up packages and URLs and studies and so on. But for the most part, it will give you, it will set you in the right direction. And this is what is also offered in the free version. The only thing which is reliable and better in the paid version is that you can follow on the conversations much more stable. Like the conversations are much more stable. I can say that. Can you give me an example of memory leak with node? So you can follow on this considerable fact. You can assume that this will not run into those errors because if you have been a heavy chat GPT user, you would know that those errors always pop up on the message 10th or 15th in the initial conversation. And that has not been the case with the premium version. Let's try out these same questions on the turbo model now. So I'm gonna switch my model from default to turbo and let's start with the same question. So you can see even at this time of recording video, turbo model is not really working because like I mentioned, this is an alpha. It just crashes on the turbo model a lot. So that's okay by me because it works fine on the default model for now, but I'm actually willing to see like how Turbo works. Now the pricing for ChatGPT, if you go to my account, you can see it starts with $20 per month. But the problem with ChatGPT currently is that this is only limited to United States. And it's not even about that you can use a VPN or something. The way they have done this is that they have restricted the checkout page on the Stripe to have hard-coded United States address on the shipping part, right? So I don't know what they'll ship, because it's a digital product, so they should not ideally ask for your shipping address, but they do. That means that you have to supply a shipping address, you have to supply a billing address, and both of them have to belong to United States, and you should have a card which is like, you know, just goes through the payment gateway. I've tried every single Indian card which I have, and it did not work, so I had to try a card from US. And that's how I got access to ChatGPT+. Plus. It will roll out into more countries soon, and hopefully it also 
fixes the turbo model which is supposed to be faster now the second thing which i want to discuss is why pay for this model in the first place or why spend 20 dollars a month on a model like this well you will see that there will be native integrations coming into different products including code dam code dam also has a native integration with chat gpt so if you go to any code dam course you will find this instant help button somewhere on the website and this dialog box actually is what chat gpt is right so you can start having conversational discussions with this how do i learn on about or you know not that what are different kinds of html tags for example there are a couple of differences the first one of course this chat gpt box is built on top of text davinci 003 model from openai and as far as i can tell if i open a new chat and if i select the turbo model I'm going to see the model switch to text Davinci 002 render SHA and the default model is 002 render paid. I'm not sure like what this internal model is because OpenAI actually supports the 003 model, which is supposed to be better than 002. But for at least this interface, this model 002 also works just as fine. So this model also supports follow on conversation. So you can say, can you give me an example for each. So you can see that I explicitly did not tell what tag it is, right? I'm not telling it's HTML head, title, body, P, anchor tag, whatever. If you consider this message as the standalone message, it cannot be answered before you know you have context and the way we have done this on code dam is that we do send the full context of the conversation so that the AI knows like what to answer and what not to answer and you can ask it to keep going keep going or keep continuing depending on if the response is trimmed so you can tell it that you have you can just keep going and keep answering that's the same thing happening over here the reason you are paying 20 dollars a month to charge gpt is so that you can have this interface where you can have follow-on conversations where the ai retains what you talked last time with it and you can just follow up with you know anything you wanted to change with the single sentence instead of specifying the full context that's the major difference between a software like let's say chat gpt versus a native integration which let's say comes to bing for example so if you go to bing.com new you're gonna see that they are trying to you know just push into the hype of chat gpt and trying to release something which is ai powered so if i click on this for example can you help me get fit right so it will give you a chat GPT level, chat GPT like response. But yeah, I mean, this response is that's it. This response is all that exists. Now in order to chat with this, in order to get into the details of this, uh, you have to click on this let's chat button. Of course, I don't have access to this, but this is exactly what chat GPT is. Now this is an early preview. So this is not available to everyone. And I believe this is gonna be free. So I'm excited to see what the end goal of this $20 per month thing is, right? Because if Bing releases something like this, then the only other advantage of this would be like you have your stored conversations. Maybe they don't store your conversations or anything. But if you can have follow on conversations over Bing, then the utility of $20 per month is not a lot. But if not, then it is because if search results are the only results which can be generated like this, and then I can't just ask it follow on, then it has no utility, right? I mean, it does has utility, but this still will be important. This UI will be important. So it's going to be an interesting time, interesting few weeks and months to see how things unroll for ChatGPT, ChatGPT Plus and anything in general. If you want me to ask anything in particular with ChatGPT and answer it for you, leave a comment below and I will reply you with what our AI overlord has to say. So that is all for this video. I'm going to see you in the next one really soon. Make sure you like this video and subscribe so that you stay up to date with the technical content changes and technical things happening all over the world because I'm going to be back with more content next time. If you're still watching this video, make sure you comment down in the comment section. I watched this video till the end. Also, if you're not part of CodeDamp's Discord community, you're missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code. You already know the drill. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and thank you so much for watching.